Yo everybody, Lambo here. I want to welcome you guys to the show. So today, 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 I just want to say what's up. Let me wave at you here. Alright, we're all good. Down into the model here. So, I got this freaking sweet, 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 sweet Bex Custom F132 Hot Rod. And what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to Mad Max the crap out of it. I mean, maybe something along those lines, if the image ever loads. But that's what I want to do. I think that would be really hard. A lot harder than just applying a gloss map to a truck. So that's what we're going to go for today, guys. And I'm going to try to record it all for you. So if you are looking at, if you're looking at that uh, and wondering why Lambo, why Lambo do you have to do that? Well, first off, guys, I'm a weirdo. I like this kind of stuff. I think this stuff is so sweet. So, and second off, I make mods for role-playing, and the game is fun, but I mainly do it for the role-playing. So that's what we're here for today. We got the model, um, got this off of a top-secret, super-duper alley -ooper that I pay for every month site. Thank you, Winston, for hooking that up. And what we're going to do is, instead of just making it all shiny and pretty and stuff, we're going to create our own texture for it. I did not make this model, okay, this is a great model. Uh, I will, this is actually from the Fast and the Furious game, I think. But the idea today is we're going to drop this bad boy like a bad habit. So let's get into it. I got some good beats going on here. And go beats. Let's get it. Okay. So we got the body here. First, it's already made. It's going to save us a lot of time. But I'm going to try to walk you through everything to put this mod in game. So you can put your own mod in game. We have a lot of texturing to do and a lot of fun stuff. But that way you can pull a model offline and put it in game and kind of see how I did it. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I'm digging that, so let's get started here. I already have the model unwrapped. Well, actually, it came unwrapped, so I got super lucky on that one. I'm just going to re rearrange everything around here so I have more room on my UV map. And make everything look nice and pretty. If you guys are having a dandy day, hit that like button. I really, really would love to know that you dig this. Do you dig this? Is this what you want? This, this, is this your jam, guys? Is this your jam? All right, cool. I'm glad it's your jam. So we're gonna continue on building here. Yo, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Whoop, whoop. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So I made some room in, oh, I gotta fix that. That's too far over. Basically, the idea here is to be a complete awesome guy and try to create a UV map that doesn't burn up the game too bad, but also that we can, that we also can go through and create our own textures. And I'm gonna try to walk you through everything. Everything, 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 everything. So, and I'll do my very best to uh, hit pause periodically, explain what I'm doing, and also uh, ask you to subscribe. Because if you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe right now. You know what I mean? Okay, so I think we got that guy all placed on there. We're solid. Look at this fin on this bad boy. I wonder if I got that. It came with some UV maps, but they're so confusing nowadays. It's trying to figure out where that little itty bitty piece goes is absolutely pointless. So we're going to find a home for it right here. It now has a home. Even though, well, I guess it, I guess it is. have to remove that. We can't have that, can we? I'm not digging that part. The only reason I'm not digging that because this would be like Mad Max back in the day. So, And it looks like that all is just... Well... Actually, you know what? Let's keep it. 
We're gonna add a new material layer. We're gonna give this some new love. We're gonna name it, um, I think this should be the chrome. Uh, and there is a really good chrome. Let me look it up real fast. Okay, so I found the hex code. To enter in the hex code for your text or for your materials, go right here uh, for your color. And I just I have a really good hex chrome, it's chrome silver. We're gonna hit hit it on that. It's gonna add that. We're gonna hit assign, and it's gonna actually change the color that you can see that. Now it's not chrome in here, but it will be chrome in the game, ladies and gentlemen. You don't even know right now. Mm. All right, we got this. Boom, 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 cruise through. Okay, assign that. I would assume this to be a wee bit. We just gotta get our basic mapping down here. All right. All right, so now we got that. We're just placing as much as we can. We are completely remapping this whole map here. And trying to remember where we put everything. That's the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I already got this kind of set up. I need to start being able to see where everything is at. So, oh, I still gotta move that bad boy over here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, move him right there. I don't like how that's upside down. I don't like how that's upside down. I just hit the R for the rotate button and, oh, okay. Try to get it here without interfering with too much other stuff. UV mapping is interesting, you know, you gotta try not to overlap anything. Okay, that boy, that bad boy is ready to like, so we can actually see where we're laying the other ones. I'm going to go to the globe. I'm gonna click on ambient occlusion, environmental lighting. I'm gonna go to samples here and I'm gonna put in 20. This is gonna make it make it real finer, real depth. And it's gonna take a little bit longer and your computer might not be able to handle it if you're running on something kind of weak. Uh, the fall off is gonna make the shadows look a lot more realer. But the samples is basically, if you put in five, it's just gonna bake it really fast. And uh, it won't be as good of quality as if you put it up a higher number. So now we got those settings set. You never have to change those the whole entire time when you're in this folder. Let's just hit Control S, save over the owner. Go to bake. Now on bake, we are gonna click on the ambient inclusion. This is really simple, guys. I hope you guys all get it. I see everybody be like, oh, I baked today. Like, I'm really proud of you. Good job. I'm glad I've seen everybody taking all these tutorials and running with them. After we set the margin to three, it's already unwrapped. I'm just gonna slap that bake button. And I will talk to you guys shortly. We're gonna like run around, get some water, hang out, mark this down as the next part of the championship. Bam, I hope you dig that. I just gotta wrap my mind around this, okay? I'm making this a Mad Max, bad, sweet mojo, mammoth bam jam. We could go on for days with what I'm trying to do with this thing. But what I gotta tell you right now is check out this Mad Max gameplay footage and you'll be like, wow, I need to be able to figure out how to do that for Farming Simulator. Hit play on that for me real quick. <laughs>
Now that was fun. I gotta stop playing around. Now we're gonna get serious here, guys. Isn't this thing sweet looking? So I've been partying together, piecing together, building this thing. It's having fun. It's pretty sweet. Give some modifications to a model. This is not my model. But it is pretty cool. So what we are going to do is do some building. So let's put our 3D cursor right there. Hit shift A. We're gonna start with a cylinder and we're gonna scale that bad boy down. Okay, now we're good. And I'm gonna apply a modifier to it. Really cool modifier, mirror modifier. If you don't know about it, Google it. And basically what we're gonna do, no, not that way. Gotta figure out what axis I'm having my brain farts for the day, guys. Whatever axis I'm on here. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Getting it almost dead center here. As best we can with our eyes. I'm sure there's a lot more fancier ways to do this, but... As of this moment right now, we are doing it this way. So that looks pretty even. We're gonna pull it off just a little bit and then we're gonna scale it down. Make sure it's not gonna intrude with anything. Oh, they're pretty, that one's a little farther than the other one. Maybe just a hair. We could probably go all day long just playing with this. We're gonna go to solid mode so we can think. Think and properly make the best of everything we have, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry about that rumble in the courtroom there. All right, so I think, I think it's the best we're gonna get. I don't know, that's pretty. What were we just saying? So if you want just the hair, I believe you, yeah, you hold shift and you can. Good enough for me. We'll adjust as, we'll adjust fire as we go. So I think it's a uh, control, t no, tab, shift three. Uh... No, there we go. Okay, to s change your select mode from edge vertex to face, it's a. Uh... Control tab and then the three because I want the face. So and then I'm gonna pull this bad boy. Oh, I'm gonna pull this. No, that's not working there. I didn't want you. Deselect that bad boy. Okay. Oh, why is that so sensitive? Why are you so sensitive, Carlos? I'm not digging that. Maybe it's too busy in here. Boom. You can see all the different. Clean it up in here a little bit. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit more. Not working how I want it. Select it all. Export it as 3DS. Okay, it's all exported now. 
save one file. We're gonna go new. Figure out if we can figure out why it's being difficult. Select everything in the map. Delete it all. Import 3ds. Oh darn it! Where was that at? Lambo mods. I think that was Mad Max series. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you so much for watching. Slap that like button. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a champion. that fixed our problem. Once again, we will go back through. If you guys haven't got a chance to go check out the website, LamboMods.com. Go get on there, get a profile, sign in with your Facebook, Google. Uh, I got quite a few things hooked up. I'd really love to have you on there and we do a lot of special stuff for all of our members. So come check it out with us, guys. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe, like button. Don't forget to show us some love. We're just building really small, aren't we, guys? Itty bitty status. There we go. Pull that over. Right there. There we go. Something funky with that file that I had open. Mirror modifier to that now. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if that's. Uh, yeah, okay, we got this now. Go really wide, protect it. I'm going to say yes. Zipping in. Zipping around. Gotta stay motivated, guys. Gotta stay motivated, if you know what I mean. You gotta keep it real all the time, all the time. I just wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me. This should be a really neat project. I'm really excited. We're gonna pull it off over to the side here. We're gonna add an edge loop right there. Kind of crick it in. Just should be sweet, guys. <coughs> okay, so space select, boom. Okay, we're gonna extrude it, scale it out, extend it out. Digging this so far. Scale it in, extrude it out, rotate it up. We're gonna go view all, that way we can do some proper adjustments here. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with 
that. Extrude up. Extrude scale out. Get ourselves a little happy bar going here. him in here I'm excited guys if you're excited hit that like button snap it up snap it up it's gonna be a sweet one so gotta finish our finish all of our fun here extrude and then scale it up and then scale it over again and extrude scale it down a little bit and the hair move it downward just a tidbit Going inward. Come on, Be like riding racks so people can ride up there or something. I don't know. We're just building, man. We're just building. Should have. That's some colors, some texture. Let's start creating our textures here, gentlemen. Start with our base. Start with our dark. We'll look up some colors here in a little bit, but for right now, so we get the idea. Nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna continue building and I'll check back with you so you don't have to watch me build all this, but we still got a lot more we wanna to add to this bad boy. 
Check your second in a second. Check us out. Let's let's watch more Mad Max stuff. That was way sweet. is to be the buzz cut the war boy rig right so this guy right here is gonna be able to go up and down redesign that whole fin there like it used to be just like a normal race fin and now it is a destructive piece of machinery and this should be able to lower all the way down to here below where the tires and tracks are and stuff so the that will be cool, right? Be able to cut down trees, and then I think we should put traps on it. Uh, we'll do that through the end game. This went up, made a roof for it, um, went through and colored the interior up, baked it. I haven't added texture to that yet. And now, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've got done baked wise, building. Oh, I. I I actually raised it. I gave it a lift job kit. Removed some stuff. Had to move a bunch of pipes and all kinds of different things. So, if you want to look at it inside the game engine editor after I've textured it and everything, um, I need it to look old. You know, like Warboy status, like the movies. And so, this is what I got right here. Okay, so you got the saw blades up here. Got those guys all textured up. Added some unique colors to it, some flames on there. Did the bars. I'm trying to make it look as old, beat up as I could. Textured all that. I mean, everything here. Tried to give it its best. It was looking like it just came out of the movie type ordeal. Still want to redo up on top up here, but at a later date, just stretched on me. Flames. Got the Warboy symbol. Got a bar for riders and boarders to ride back up here and hold on to the bars. So yeah, that'll be nifty as can be. So I get that. Let's see, that'll move up and down. And each one of these blades will spin, and you'll be able to basically have a stump cutter. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, right, guys? If I put this in the actual Mad Max game, that'd be even cooler. Still got a chromify, still got things, some things to do, put jigsaw on there. Kind of blended a bit and so nobody would notice, but. So, I mean, we got getting quite a bit done with it. Not bad for first day's worth of work. If you're digging this, if you want some of this, go jump on the Patreon, and as soon as it's drivable, it'll be on there. And then uh, we'll do some beta testing, and then it'll be out public. Look at that, it's freaking. All right. Let me know what you guys think about it. I um, think I did a good job making it look old. Is there parts I should redo? I don't know. Maybe I'll make this 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 front half blue too. I don't know yet. <coughs> really, really cool model. So that's kind of where we're at, brother dudes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that good on the designing and modeling part and texturing. Um, so I gotta do the underside of there. Well, I guess I don't have to. Yeah, I should for rust, rust reasons. See, I made my own blades and stuff. And went through and made like a chassis around the fin. Removed out all the parts of the fin and then added in my own like brush guard type of ordeal. 
So that's what we're working with. If you're digging this, slap that like button. If you like this, if you had a great time, have a good night, guys. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Go check out whammomods.com, and you guys will see this mod here soon. Later, Gator.